So this is Jazz's first look at her classroom. Hey, 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 and welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley here, and if you are new, hey girl, hey. So, I am currently in a parking lot because I'm about to go into this elementary school to finish, finally, my makeover that I have been doing for this amazing teacher. Her name is Jasmine. But before I start talking about Jasmine, this video is sponsored by Cricut. And I'm so glad that they are sponsoring this video to do something awesome for an amazing teacher. So. I've been here for the past three days. I'm really hoping that my camera does not die because it is beeping. Um, but I've been here for the past three days um, making over this classroom and I am so excited to show you guys the final reveal but also to show you the process and everything of us doing this makeover for her. So. First of all, let's just talk about Jasmine because she is amazing. Um, she teaches fifth grade math and she teaches at, um, I think, let's see, what is it? Title one, a title one school. Um, and she loves to help like underserved communities. She's very amazing y'all she's so sweet she literally teaches like she you know how you have that teacher that you just remember she's one of those teachers and I love those type of teachers because they leave a big impact on kids lives and that's what Jasmine does every day so I'm excited to do this makeover for her I tell her this every time I come into her classroom and I cannot wait to show you guys the reveal so um yeah that's what I've been doing for the past three days and now I'm going in here today to finish it up and I just cannot wait to share this video with you guys. So I'm gonna stop talking. I should have done this before I actually started because I'm like, oh my God, I wanna tell you guys about everything. So we're gonna start with, of course, me sharing my process with me coming here first, all of the little projects and stuff I did, and then the final reveal. So let's start with day one. <laughs> All right, so this is day one footage, and basically it was just me coming into the school, into her classroom, and actually seeing this space physically, because prior to, we were just doing like text messages and talking about like what she wanted and things like that, and it's just better to kind of, you know, when you're doing a makeover, to actually go and see your space. So this is actually, this was the first week before school actually started, because that is when they were able to get into their building, because they had to do cleanup and all that stuff. So this is what it looked like, this is what we came into, and and, you know when we came in here we talked a little bit more about what she kind of wanted and her vision and stuff like that so I was just so ready to tackle this after this day um, but you know I just took my notes and everything like that and gathered everything so we can get started with day two so after that first day I was there um, I came back this is day two and um, now I'm basically just kind of removing everything and starting to put up the new things that are going to be in her classroom so the first thing I tackled were these cabinets in the back here and I removed all the hardware and then I added this really cool removable wallpaper that had the boho style that she wanted so she really wanted like a simple boho and one of the colors that she really liked was green so I took all those things and just went with it so I added the paper to these cabinets and I first cleaned these cabinets of course and then I added the paper and I also used my Cricut scraper tool to add the paper to the cabinets. So halfway through doing my cabinets I forgot a roll so I couldn't finish this this day so instead I started to work on this area in the center here where she had like these little curtains to kind of hide the um, storage stuff that she had back here. So I just removed those and I just took some cream and white curtains and I added those up there with the tension rods because prior to she did have like sheets that she had created into a curtain which I was like this is pretty cool. But we switched them and we did um, these curtains instead that were the full length of her space. So after the curtains I just literally started to just remove everything so I can just have a clean slate to work with. So I started with her bulletin board and I just removed all of her borders and things that she had on there. Then I removed the little class expectation sign. The sign that she had above her whiteboard I removed that too and then some of the little signs that she had on the side I actually redid those signs and I'll show you that later on in the video. And then I also removed this little thing that said do the math over here so literally I was just taking down everything like I said to just start fresh. 
So after everything was removed, I started to work on the space above her whiteboard. So, like I said, she wanted simple boho, and I'm a girl that loves to do a good basket wall for boho, so I gathered up a whole bunch of thrifted baskets, and I started to add those onto the wall on the top. And I used command strips and also hot glue, because she said hot glue works the best when putting things up, which she was not lying. It did work way better than using anything else, and I just attached those baskets to the wall that way. So the signs that I took down, I just redid them and then I printed them out and now I'm cutting them down to the size that I need using my Cricut mat and my rotary tool. And then I am going to add those back up onto the wall. So Jazz helped me with this and we kind of double teamed this and we put these up on the wall on both sides. So one side had two of the signs and then the other side had the other two signs. And then I also put the baskets in the center of those and then I also added like two more baskets on the right and the left hand side to kind of even everything out. After that we moved the large storage cabinet over here to the front because it was actually covering up some of her bulletin board so we moved that and then she took some of the craft bulletin board paper and she added that to the bulletin board and I just love when you're doing a makeover for someone and they want to be hands-on because it brings so much more into the experience so I know she enjoyed this and I also enjoyed her helping me out with this as well so after the craft paper was put up, I started to do the borders. So I first added like this white straight border and then I did that along the top sides and the bottom. And then I added this wavy green um, that was crazy because it matched the green that I had picked out from Home Depot. <laughs> and um, I added that around the bulletin board as well. So next I started to work on the word, the letters and the words that I was going to add on to the bulletin board and I just came into design space and I simply just typed out the words that I wanted. So I had math and focus and so I just typed those in with the font that I chose and then I printed those out using my smart materials which I love using smart materials and especially this very large roll I think this roll is like 75 feet and um, I just printed all, all of them out and then I weeded them and then I used my transfer tape to transfer these onto the wall so what I like to do before I actually transfer things onto the wall is I keep them on my transfer tape and then I just kind of tape it up to the wall so I can kind of see if it's even, if I need to go up some, if I go down. And then once I get it where I need it to be, then I will transfer it on to the wall or paper or whatever I'm using. So I did this for the rest of the letters that I had to put up, which I cut them out, weeded them, added them with the transfer tape, and placed them onto the wall. So day three, I was really getting into the motion because this was my last and final day. So like I did for the previous decals, I just came into design space and I typed in the phrase that I wanted. So it says, it's okay to dot, dot, dot. And I cut that out onto my Cricut and then I transferred it with my transfer tape. Also the sayings around the saying, it's okay too. I just went into design space again, typed all of those out, and then I got them cut out onto my Cricut. So instead of actually taking it off of the backing that it was on originally, I just kept it on there because that white really made it pop. So I just kind of like did some wavy cuts around it. So you can definitely do this and you can like do straight cuts. You could do different types of cuts and then you could just keep your decals on there instead of actually taking them off and transferring them on to whatever surface you want. So that's what we decided to do and I just added that around the bulletin board. So before I added those sayings that I was talking about onto the wall, another little thing that I did was I added some baskets on top to create another little central focus over here on this wall like I did for the main wall to the left of me. So what I did over here on this side was I hung this like little macrame decor piece over here just because it was just really simple and of course the whole vibe of this room was simple boho. So I knew that this would fit perfectly over here in this area. 
So after that, I came over here on this other wall and I redid the part that said do the math. So honestly, throughout this whole classroom, I did really easy Cricut things, which is basically just making like decals for the walls. So I went into Design Space again, created the do the math part, and then I printed it out using my 75 feet worth of black vinyl. Um, I absolutely love using the Explore, y'all, because you can cut out so much stuff I mean, and it's just long. So anyways, so I got my transfer tape and I just added that on top and then I started to, you know, make sure it was nice and smooth so I'll be able to remove this and add it to the wall to transfer. And I also used my spatula because you guys know sometimes the transfer tape kind of acts funny um, depending on which one you use. So I'm just using regular transfer tape. So I used my spatula tool to kind of help me make sure that the vinyl adhered to the transfer tape. And then I'm just going to come up to the wall and I'm going to make sure it's nice and even and then I'm going to transfer this on to the wall. So after I did that part on the far right, um, I went into Design Space again, did the same thing, typed in the different words that I needed with the font that I used. And I am going to put You Are Capable of Amazing Things on the main wall where her computers are gonna be. So I really felt like she really loved this saying and so I wanted to make it even big and even bolder. So I added it onto this wall over here and I just took my transfer tape, did that same thing. Um, before I did that though, um, I did cut it really close to the letters and then I put it onto the wall so I can make sure that my sizing was correct and then I did that same thing with my transfer tape and I added the transfer tape on top which I reused most of that transfer tape because you can reuse your transfer tape guys do not throw it away once you use it one time you can definitely use it again so I used that to kind of make sure that the words and stuff were even before I actually transferred this on to the uh, wall so after I was finished transferring the next thing I did was I just added some greenery to add some green over here onto this area and I just added that using my hot glue so after that I started to work on these crates so these crates are actually from the cafeteria <laughs> they were black crates that she collected and we made this little like storage area using zip ties and then I took them home and I used my paint sprayer and I paint sprayed them this really gorgeous green color and now just to hide some of the zip ties I am just taking some twine and I am wrapping that around and then I use my glue gun to glue it so after that it was really time to kind of put all of this stuff together so I told Jasmine to leave girl leave because I'm gonna do all the finishing touches so that's what I started to do I started to kind of decorate this little storage shelf thing over here as well another little storage shelf I started to kind of like put these little plastic bins that I got from Dollar Tree in there and then kind of make that little area look cute and I just started to put little random things here and there that would all match my boho simplistic kind of vibe that we had going on these print I just literally printed them out and then added them to these frames again that I used the same color green that I had so I try to stick with the same theme and just really go for that simplistic look so the magazine holder things again I took those home and I used my paint sprayer and I sprayed them that same green color and I added them around the room and then I also took these little plastic pocket pieces that I got from Target and I just added them up here where it says do the math so she wanted to display some of the kids work she can do that and just slide them into the pockets so I was like if you want some more you could definitely get some more and add them up here because we definitely put this up here again with hot glue because honestly hot glue with these cinder blocks worked the best okay so I'm finally on almost finished so I think it's like around six o'clock it might be 5 30 um but now I'm going to add all of the gifts I'm finished with everything y'all it looks so cute in here I'm gonna show you guys everything when I'm finished with this okay so all of this stuff came from hold on one second because I know you guys can hear that so all of this stuff bad angle all of this stuff came from Cricut and is she's gonna be so surprised all of this Cricut sent to her and I'm going to display it over here on her desk it's gonna be so cute Ooh, 
I've been working hard, y'all. I am sweating. So I am finished. I put all of the Cricut stuff on her desk. And now I'm about to go get her and show her her room. You ready? So this is Jazz's first uh, look at her classroom. This is nice, look. Yes. I feel like the basketball is like my classic look. Yes, all the goodies from Cricket. I know that's why every time you no, every time you would say something, I just was like quiet because I was like, she doesn't know that she about to get all this stuff. So the pillow, no, no, no. So the pillow that's up there, you can do like a little, the personalized your little pillow and stuff. You got all the supplies. Much better. Yes, I love how that looks. And then like we discussed when her homeroom class, she can put like their names or their pictures and stuff up there to kind of like personalize it a little bit more. But yes. Oh, it goes together so beautifully. Ooh, I'm so glad you like it. Beautiful, look. That's perfect. That's so Extra nice. storage. So All perfect. simple boho. Yes, she, oh my gosh, it came with all the things. <laughs> the new machine, Explore 3. It's the new yes, one. that's the new one. Okay. So, what's her name? You get to, she gonna be a little yes, jealous. Yes, she wants to. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. Yeah, Yay. I gotta figure out how to use it so I can make them some water bottles. You will, yeah, you can yeah. do the water bottles. You can do more personalization for like oh. organizing stuff. So glad she likes it, y'all. This is real. I like this. This is like this is like my stage. Yes, it's <laughs> like, real. It's can, the kids. Everybody, look, I'm telling you, your room is gonna be the room everybody gonna want to come in. It's so, oh, I love it. It's so <laughs> pretty, like so. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yes. Oh, and it's so I love thank it. You. No, uh, thank, thank you, you. Ashley. No problem. This is so nice. So I'm glad you like it. Now I'm gonna wanna go to work. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, yeah. And then once we put the little twinkle lights, when you get the lights, the light, yeah. low lighting setting, yes. So good. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay, these are nice. Like, it looks so good together. Yes, I'm so glad you like it. <laughs> So that is it for this video. So right now I'm just gonna kind of skim the classroom so you guys can kind of see everything all together. But I'm so glad that Jazz loves her classroom. She also said that her kids love her classroom. She sent me a text and she was like all capital L-O-V-E that they love the classroom. So I'm so glad that I was able to recreate this space for her. She honestly said that her classroom had been the same for like five years. So I'm so glad that I was able to change it up for her. And I really wanna give Cricket a big thank you for sponsoring this video and not only sponsoring this video but sending jazz all those amazing products so that she will be able to personalize her classroom even more so i truly enjoy doing this from the moment that i walked in to the moment that i walked out and i'm just so glad that i was able to bring all of the things that she told me to life in her classroom and that she really truly enjoys it so i'm also going to leave a couple of clips of her tiktok because she is pretty funny so she has a tiktok if you guys have tiktok make sure you follow my girl she's super funny and i'm so glad again that i was able to do this classroom makeover for her so as always if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you comment down below to let me know what you think if you aren't subscribed to my channel make sure you click on that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you'll always be up to date with my latest tutorials now let's watch some of jazz's tiktoks my mom and my daddy was fighting last night yeah she kicked my daddy out. What'd she kick him out for? Because he was cheating on her with my auntie. Yeah. I like your hair. Thank you. That's a wig. My mama be wearing those. I like your shirt. Thank you. My mama stole it from Walmart. She be boosting. Our lights just got cut off. My daddy got STDs. Where your mama? All right, class. Uh, <laughs> we're doing mathematics today. Okay, Sarah, what is one plus one? 
do. Period, queen. It's the smart for me. It's the brains for me. It's the knowledge for me. As you should. 